What happens when a golf brand risks public embarrassment by letting the media test out their launch monitor without a script? Well, that's exactly what Full Swing did with their Full Swing kit, putting it up against the TrackMan 4 and the GC Quad, and the numbers surprised everybody. And in today's video, I'm gonna show how it all went down and why the Full Swing kit may be the best sub $5,000 launch monitor to buy right now. So let's do this. Okay, so last month I got an email from Full Swing asking me if I would be interested in attending their first ever Ultimate Launch Monitor Challenge. Now, this wasn't a typical golf event. In all my years of testing out launch monitors, either in my sim or out of the range, I know it takes a lot of time and considerable effort to get the most accurate data that you can. And it's not easy, but really by any stretch of the imagination. And you never know if the units are going to play nice or even what the data is even gonna show you. But here's how it went down. Full Swing set it up in California Oceanside Sports Complex, which is this huge 52 acre facility that's completely flat. It's perfect for testing launch monitors. Now this place typically has 22 full-size soccer fields in it, but Full Swing built a temporary driving range right across all of them. That way they could test the top tier launch monitors at the same time, the TrackMan 4, the GC Quad, and their own kit. But here's where Full Swing took it to the next level. They stationed multiple spotters down the range to mark exactly where the ball landed. Once they spotted the landing point, they used multiple range finders to measure the exact distance by shooting the distance to the spotter. Now, Full Swing then recorded this true distance and compared to what each launch monitor said, the ball traveled. And to make it fair, all three devices are running the latest software updates and they used Tylus Pro V1X balls for consistency. And if for some reason you would hit a bad shot or if one of the launch monitors didn't record the shot, it just wouldn't be used. But what made this event so special was that no one's really ever done this before. Capturing shot data from three major launch monitor brands and then comparing it to the actual measured distances. Now, Full Swing was confident that their kit would perform well, but they were uncertain how it would really measure up. And if you think about it, that's a pretty bold move, especially when the Full Swing kit retails for about five grand, while a TrackMan 4 is 25 grand and the GC Quad is 18. So to put a sub $5,000 launch monitor against the two biggest powerhouses in the space, is pretty cool. But let's really dig into the numbers. When looking at the data in every case, for my pitching wedge, my seven iron, my five iron, and the driver, the full swing kit was within 1% of the actual measured distance. Basically, it's identical to TrackMan. What was really interesting is that my seven iron and my five iron, the kit was actually more accurate than the TrackMan. And the driver was a little less accurate, but still very close. Now, the GC Quad's normalized numbers made me feel like a way better golfer with a 211 yard average drive, which sounds way better than the wind adjusted reality. Now, I do want to note that the conditions really picked up that day and the wind started blowing harder and harder. And that's something you're gonna wanna keep in mind when looking at the GC Quad's numbers. See, the TrackMan and the kit both work like a weather radar system. They use Doppler technology to follow your ball from the moment you hit it until it lands. Now, this means that they're actually capturing everything that's happening during the flight, including how the wind pushes the ball around. And that's why they can show you the unnormalized mode which basically is the real world distance your ball is actually traveling. But the GC Quad takes an entirely different approach. It's optical or what they call quadroscopic, which basically means it's got four high speed cameras that watches your impact zone from the side. So instead of calculating what's happening like other launch monitors down the range, it's directly measuring everything about your club delivery and ball launch. So basically the GC Quad specialized cameras take the measurements of your club position and ball launch conditions at impact then calculates where the ball will land based on those measurements. It will then automatically adjust carry distances using its built-in thermometer, barometric sensor, accounting for temperature and air pressure and elevation, and then it calculates what your shot would have done in the perfect windless conditions. But again, as the day progressed, it got really windy. Now I know that TrackMan has a similar normalized setting, you can turn it on, but I don't think it was activated during the test because the actual distances the kit numbers and the trackman readings were pretty much the same. So my biggest takeaway from this entire event is this, that outdoors or carry distances, the full swing kit is as accurate as trackman. And a finding that was also confirmed when I did my own testing at home. So personally, I love the built-in screen, the modern UI, and for outdoor use, the full swing kit is fantastic. And for less than fifth of the price of a trackman, the full swing kit really delivers. But let me know in the comments what you think. And I really appreciate you guys watching. If you can consider liking and subscribing, I always appreciate your support, but if you want to see my best launch monitors of the year, then check out this video right here and I'll see you on the course.